back, crack back, camera, crack back. Right, right. Go, go, go. Fight, fight. You gotta get him. Damn, we go to the house, man. Oh, oh, oh. Don't tell him it's okay, cause it's not okay. Good job, fellas. Good job. Good job. Good game, man. Good game, man. Good game, fellas. Good game. Good game. Good game. Good job. Come on. Good game, man. Good game. Right here. Right here. Right. Let's go about taking me. Y'all got to respond better than that. That's another team that didn't belong on the field with us. They didn't. But the problem is, man, we're a team, we're a team with a bunch of talent, but we're undisciplined. If you can't show the respect to the coaches that need to be shown, if you can't come hustle on the field at all times, I ain't even dealing with you no more. This was not a good game. This is not a good game. Y'all kidding me? Very disappointing, very disappointing. Y'all need to get, get down in the dirt. Y'all need to decide that y'all are gonna work for a living. I don't see, see, see superstars out here that wanna be pretty. Look at me. Y'all ain't nothing, y'all ain't got nothing. You ain't got the heart. Look at me. You ain't got the heart. You ain't got the mindset to stay disciplined on the field. I said, look at me. It's my fault. It's my fault. I don't think about it. Marco, we just got to try to even it out. But we, if we can come to an agreement here, we ain't got to be yeah, like even that. Even with the agreement, even with the agreement, we got to come up with it. Marco, you can't say that because we sat down and we took 12, 10-year-olds last year. Switch it up, they don't switch it up if it, that's what the whole gentleman's agreement thing is for, Marco. If we got a gentleman agreement, we come in and we do it what we do it how we supposed to do it. All right. So you're saying we're 16. Yep. And you're sitting with 12. The bylaws it say that you have to drive from the older age group first and come out even. Right. And come out as even as possible. Come out where? It says even. even. I don't say possible. But what it does it even. say about the gentleman's agreement? 1612? How even is that? Marco, I'm telling you. All right, that's fine. That's fine. Okay. I'm saying. All right. No, no. They're talking about like Saginaw did a team last year where they gave one team all 10 year olds and every other yeah. team had that's nine 11 year olds on these teams. If, if you cannot sit down and come to a conclusion, then we will intervene. Okay. All right, we'll do it your way. All right, we'll go with that. I'm telling you, sir, have plan B ready. <laughs> I know it is. Hey, well, I was just, I'm doing my call around. We start practice on this coming Monday at 6.30. Okay, great. Bye-bye. Right. Hey, Tierra, this is Coach Malik. How you doing? Darius got, he's got the shoulder pads and helmets, right? Yeah, All right, outstanding. All right, we'll see y'all on uh, Monday. Are you about to die? I'm better than you. You're better than me? Seriously? Yeah. You think that? No one's better than me. Where you going to work? No, you ain't. Five thirty to twelve. <laughs> so I'm not getting the job playing football. If I get a step on you, ain't catch me. Oh, it's that step. 
you gonna race me? I'll race to get you on my feet. I'm gonna win. Kevin, you did anything. Football. Y'all, was y'all doing against me, alright? Take care. Bye bye. Yes, sir. Take care. Bye. Man, I want to first call this next kid. He might not make weight. His name is Jamil Maynard. <laughs> you think you're going to make weight? Huh? All right. I put a half check mark because I don't know, man. Maybe I'll tell him I didn't get in contact with you. Okay. This is my room. This is when I first started. And my dad was my coach. He's been my coach for most of the time, but. Do you like having your dad as like coach? Yeah, but then sometimes he, you know, kind of gets, you know, like, man, I gotta go home and listen to what I did wrong. I swear, I swear, I'm gonna do it like, like I never had. I, 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 I. My mom said, um, um, I, I, I want you to get, I want you to get a, a scholarship. For what? For something, and football, something. Like, okay, I'll try my best. Well, some people are like, I'm not even gonna go to college. <laughs> and, and and then after I convince them to go to college, like, man, if if you don't go to college, you you won't get the money. If you won't get the money, you won't get the shoes. If you don't get the shoes, then then you don't get the fancy clothes. If you don't get the fancy clothes, you don't get the girls. He's like, okay, I'm going to college. <laughs> Did you move? Yeah. What songs do you know? I know a lot of songs. Try me. Uh, gotta get that boom boom pow. Yeah. That's one of the best songs I ever sang. Do you know fireworks? Kind of. Uh, just the way you are? Yeah, I know that one. Yeah. That's kind of inappropriate though. Do you know big girls don't cry? Yeah. No. Wait. wait. Big girls don't cry. Do you know that song? Yeah, Mr. Myers. JD. Want some water? Hey Mitch, this is Malik. Hey, hope all is well, man. Hey, I was just uh, leaving you guys a message uh, for practice starts Monday. Full pads. I believe every JD has everything. If you have any questions, give me a call back. If not, I'll see you guys on Monday. All right, bye. How many is that, man? Talk to me. That two? Two more. <laughs> Good job. It's almost a mile. You know it's coming, dude. Good job. Thanks. I just love football, no matter to what degree I love football. I think the Roughneck has one of the best coaching staff, because out of everyone, they say that Roughnecks are probably going to teach you the hardest. Why do you want to be pushed the hardest? so I can perform my best at all times. Man, you talk about a kid that's got a lot of heart. Um, I mean, he tries, you know, so hard. Kind of, I don't know if they call it pigeon toed or whatever. And, you know, so he's always, you know, talking about his feet and, you know, and his running and everything like that. But, but that's the kind of kid that he is. Quick, quick, shh, everybody quiet. Moment of silence, shush, moment of silence. I only got two now. Ah, I only got one. Oh. That's it, you're killing my hurdles, man. I'll oh give me some tones. Hey, this is Coach Malik. Or this is Coach Malik. Hope all is well. Coach Lay, this is Coach Malik. Hey, is, is Drew around? Hey, Miss Murray, this is Coach Malik. It's Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday. Kevion Miller, little bitty guy. Got it! This is the last year, originally. If I don't win the Super Bowl, no one in the Super Bowl in this league. 
How's that feel? It's, well, pressure. <laughs> Starting this season off fast. So if you're, you're not ready, you might want to get ready. Oh, that's weak. I ain't gonna lie to you, man. If they told y'all it was easy coming to play for me, somebody told y'all a lie. Every single field has a snack bar. Some of them have quite good snack bars. And they're supposed to have coffee this year. There you go. That's what I'm talking about. Down in dirty yards. Listen to me closely. Everybody. Outside of this team right here got high expectations of y'all. So that means when a team coming to play y'all, they coming to play y'all because they think y'all going to be tough. Three years ago, y'all played in the semifinals. Everybody up. Two years ago, some of y'all, most of y'all that was on this team played in the Super Bowl. So they looking, they saying, this is basically that same team coming back. Don't nobody do work like we do in practice. Guys, you better not jump. Thank you. I called it. Now, I don't know if you're going to go to the Super Bowl. I can't promise you that. That's up to y'all. I'm going to call the play. But it's what y'all do to execute the play. Who wants some of Jameel? Who wants some of Jameel? I know, coach. Well, come on out here, then. Ooh, and he ran me over to get out here. Oh, man. That's what I'm talking about, JD. Run him the smack over. Hut. Quick, 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 quick. Oh. All right, here we go. It's on two. Set. Hit. Oh, Damn. You know the number. Breathe. <laughs> through your nose, in through your nose, out through your mouth. You got asthma? I don't know. Well, have you ever been diagnosed with asthma? I don't know. Okay, you ain't been to the doctor for asthma yet, have you? Okay, so look, right now, it's about getting in shape right now. Step to the side. Step to the side. Jackie, huh? oh. come on, JD. Come on, Mike, Mike. Second whistle. Down. What we got going on tomorrow? Weigh-ins. Weigh in. All right. We need to be there. If you are close to making weight, like somebody, <laughs> make sure when we get up there, you know, it's one shot, one kill. It's 120 and under. You can take your, your shoes off and uh, your socks off. You can take everything off besides your underwear. All right. My, my toes hurt. Money slip through. Guys, if you come in over, then you can only play certain positions. If you're under, you're unlimited to the positions that you can play. What's your birthday? Too close. I'm gonna guess 121. 122. 129. Over. No. Hey. You better knock somebody's jock fat off, son. You're the biggest one today. 216. Hey! Take your shoes off, Junior. All right, step up there for me. Stay still. Under. Hey, I don't think that mine would have been. Yeah. <laughs> Whenever you get ready to scrimmage against somebody, you get your mind right. So they're definitely coming to put it to you. Everybody get their head on the phone. <laughs> Can't be using the restroom while the principal's standing right there on the side over here. Say, so you ain't about to pee on yourself, are you? <laughs> Bad? Why you don't use the restroom before you get out here? I did. Get through there and fight.
Janie, you stand up. I want you to tell us what do you, what do you expect to get out of this particular year as a returner? I'm expecting 100, 110% effort from everyone, especially those kids who are on the junior return team and lost Super Bowl. I expect a lot out of you. I expect you guys want to go hard, get to that Super Bowl, take the trophy home. you got to give all your effort. All right. Darius, stand up. No, that's my fault. Give the ball to Darius. I expect y'all to go hard every day. Uh, I expect to go to the Super Bowl, whoop Diamond Hill. You know this. We different than they are. They yell, yay, when they make a tackle 15 yards downfield. We make a tackle 7 yards downfield, and the coaches around here got a problem with it. That's the mindset. That's the mindset of it. We can set all kind of goals. We can set goals that, that we are not going to get scored upon. We're going to set goals that we're going to make the playoffs. We can set goals that we're going to go far in the playoffs. We can set goals that we're going to go to the Super Bowl. We can set goals that we're going to actually win it this time. But all those goal setting don't mean nothing if each and every one of you guys don't believe in it. All right, fellas. On three. Three whistles. Three whistles. Go! I got big hopes for y'all. Thank you, Lord. Thank, Thank you, Lord. Lord. For blessing for us. us. Keeping us safe. Keeping keep us safe. Out of harm's way. Bless all my teammates. Bless all my teammates. All my family. All my family. And all my friends. And all my friends. In Jesus' name. Jesus name. We pray. We pray. Amen. Amen. Everybody right here. In right here. Break it down. Break it down. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Do the rookies know how to do it? No. Oh, somebody was going to catch me. Take a glove. I'll throw the ball. Hey, nose guard. Nose guard. Let's go, Chris. Let's go, Chris. They're a little big, huh? They're all big. my driveway. Okay, okay. He said she's moving. Y'all are wearing out your welcome. You know what, man? I'm done with y'all. Go no, do what y'all gonna do, man. Y'all talk down on us like we doing something wrong. All you have to you do are is come doing out here. Wrong. You're being bad neighbors. And all you have to do is come ask us, and it's happening. And, and it's happening, right? What? Did she, he just heard him say she's going to move up her truck. We shouldn't have to. Have we taking our time with these kids, volunteering. These kids ain't that could be around running the streets doing other things, and they are not right now. What's your name? I am Malin Jackson. Do what Malin you got to do. Malin Lee Jackson Jr. You, you need do, anything else? You, you need to be responsible. The parents. I understand that. Well, responsible. you know what? You do what you got to do. We'll do what you got to do. Right. Man, what is that? That's crazy. Kids, man. Kids. We never coming back stripping again, man. It's a hard feel. <laughs> it looks like that out there. Oh, worse than that, don't even know yeah. green scratch. Rough field make you rough play. We rough next. That's how we get down. <laughs> get up, let's go. Move. Come on, get up off the ground. Take it too long to get off the ground. Let's go, let's go. Yeah, this way, right here. Right there, right there, right there. There you go. There you go. Catch your elbow. There you go. Back, back, get crazy. Oh, there you go. Right. Hey, man, working, man. Right Good. Here we go, right here. 
We got light now. We got light now. We got a rough next dude. Let's go, let's run. Everybody else going home. It's too dark. We still got time. Okay, let's send some good thoughts out. Um, channel your those positive energies towards the people that are having concerns today. Okay, feel more at peace. All right, so I went four squared, four times four, and found out that was 16. So this became 16 times seven. Do you need to go spit in there? Okay, go. Mm -hmm. Lost my tooth. I wasn't trying to get it. He wants to go. He wants to go to TCU. Uh, his his NFL dream is is pretty much a non-existent. You guys have seen him. He's the slowest white kid on the planet. Uh, but he tries hard, and that's why people like him. Is because he's going to do what he says he's going to do. Red Jack, let's go. Julian, stop turning your shoulder like that. Julian, right here. I come hit you. I don't turn my shoulder like this. I boom. I tell him not to stress so much. I mean, because that's that is the big thing. He is just such a stress puppy. There was one night when JD missed practice and uh, he <laughs> he wouldn't eat until after 8 30 because he knew his, his teammates were practicing so he wouldn't have anything to eat until practice was over now i'm supposed to be at practice i'm not i'm not gonna eat until later <laughs> okay dude whatever <laughs> so he just takes it that serious he does it with the school work too i don't know if anybody else thinks I'm weird, but I think I am because I want to be the best I can be. I want the team to be the best they can be. I want everybody to be the best they can be so we can have a great season. Nice draw, Chris. Come on. Keep a draw. It takes caring for your teammates. I, if you don't care for your teammates, you can't really be a leader and step up and help them out and have good times instead of just have, losing and having bad times. Come on, Chris. Nice it troubles me some uh, because there is too much stress involved. Uh, you got to be able to have a little fun with things. Rob next! Rob next! Rob next! Ah! 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 <coughs> <coughs> I feel 
I'm about to give you a rebuke. Just relax. Just relax. You, you don't have to ventilate like that. Stop all that. Why are you breathing in? Why are you breathing in? Why are you breathing in? Here we go. Here we go. Go put your clothes up in your drawers. Yes, that we will look. Why won't you say that? Have you studied all your stuff for school? I know how much stuff. What about you, Johnny? No. I'm not gonna tell him I can't rob body. Alright, go tell him. I can't rob. My mom's been a little punk. I'm not even supposed to be riding right now. Uh. Do you ever remember a birthday that you wasn't playing football? No. I ran ever since you was four. <laughs> this team, they're a big team. They're out from Alito, uh, just west of Fort Worth. They feed into a high school that has won state like the last two or three years in a row. That looks like that's them right there, already warming up. They, they want to see speed, which we have. It's all on y'all. I don't hear nothing about how big they are. None of that stuff. Do your job. I'm finna cut his legs from up under him. See the one with the orange eye going like this? I'm gonna hit him right in his legs. Make him flip. If the big orange dude come your way, look, if the big orange dude come your way, he runs like this. Look, he got orange socks. Be tall black dude. Just Block him! You hit him right there and flip him. Alito is weak. They're supposed to be big and bad. They high school is off. I'm finna pop somebody. Oh! Do work. Now it's time to do work. Now it's time to do work. Let's go, Camille. Let's go. Come on, there he is. That's a freaking dick. It's a dick right there. Oh, man. Come on, come on. Hey, all you gotta do is catch it. I'm saying nothing about the bat. See what happened then? Bring it there right there. Oh man, come on, Darius. It mm -hmm. hit you in the hand. What's the dip got to do with anything? Because when I hit it in the dip, I fall. Oh, all you gotta do is catch the ball and fall down in the dip then. That's all you gotta do. Hit you square in the hand. Tell me that. Calm down. Y'all just gotta tell me the truth. Yeah. Alright, look. Darius. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> 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 You heard now? You heard now? 
Because you didn't lift all the way back up here. I'm going to tell you that right so, now. Man, it's a, some, it ain't nothing wrong with me. Then let's go then. Stick in my shoe. Oh, man, do something. Do something. Do something. Stop talking all the time. Do something. You came over here and said, Coach, you ain't doing nothing. running in on me every time. I throw you the ball. Make a catch. That's what I expect. <laughs> if not, then don't talk about it so much. Be about it. That's what I expected you. That's what I expect you because every time you wore me down, three plays coming over talking about, Coach, he ain't even holding me. Coach, he just running in. Coach, he ain't even holding me. And then we throw you the ball, you hit you in the smack down the middle of your hands, and you don't catch it. So there's a problem when you're talking about it. Stop talking about it all the time and do something. You, you let him get to you, okay? You let him get to you. You can't. You got me? Blow it off, say, I'll do it again, sir. All right? You got it? Darius, he expects a lot out of you. Okay? And when you don't do something, he's going to get on to you. Come on. All right. I love you. What's that? I don't like it. Don't like it. It's all about him. All right? We're out here, Coach P. Way, and yeah. it's it's not it's not about. Hey, they they outplayed us. They played good. Shake your hand. Let's go. We'll work on it in practice. Kids don't kids don't react and they don't respond to that kind of you know that attitude. You know, we, we don't. All I gotta say is, uh, you know, I I, I yeah, a lot of y'all see me running around laughing, joking, smiling most of the time. But when it comes down to competition, I take it very very personal. Please don't make have us, the coaches, want any more than you do. Please make sure that you come out here ready to get better. Cause I, I, I'm, I'm serious. I don't. There ain't nothing about me that likes getting beat. Ain't nothing. We need some men out here. We got to grow up real fast. We sent them people back to Alito. They riding back feeling good. Ain't no damn way that they should be out here treating us on the field the way they did. They embarrassed us. And I take it personal. I hope you do too. So if Coach Scholars don't seem like he being cool, now I'm not Coach Greg no more. I'm gonna be Coach Scholars because it's gonna get formal out here. Because I don't want to feel like this. I didn't come out here. I don't come. Hey, hey, I have a saying. We don't come to the show. We come to be the show. Tonight we were just at the show. We were just out here. How can you be mad at them, man? They show up to play football. Mm -hmm. You know. It's all about scheming. You teach them the fundamental. Do sometimes you're gonna lose. Sometimes you're gonna get your ass whooped. You know. But at the end of the day, it's all about the kids. It's not about me. I'd rather be a teacher, man. I don't want to be a coach. Brittany, what up? What up? Nobody. No. I'm not even going. You're not. Just get a group and we'll go. I got practice. Last year I asked her out, yeah, and, and she said no. And then I'm like, okay, no, no worries. I moved on. That's what you call moving on with your life. 
other people, then they'll move on with their life. Why don't you ask Sydney out? Cause... Just like they said, she, she, she has a boyfriend. Yeah, but that could change. <laughs> you asked her out. Yeah, yeah it could change. Right. Hello. Hello. Who's this? What you doing? What? Getting ready for softball practice. Hello? What about so so tell me about softball. What well, how's it like? Did you fumble down there at the end? No, I, my knee's down. Oh. But, well, I, I got, I got up, Jay? down. I don't feel too good, Coach. My body's just shaking. Okay. All right. Well, take your shoulder pads off. Hey, Coach, can we get some water? I've been getting you water ain't got nothing in those? I've been getting water nonstop. Put it on through. You're going to wet you down a little bit. Is he still sweating? Get that fan. Hold that bag. Uh, just count on being done for today, okay? Don't even worry about it. I think they can handle this one without you. Okay, you know? JD, what's the score, by the way? Between the range of 30 to 40, I think. To nothing. They just scored again, so we're probably close to 50. Let's go, team! Let's go, team! Stressing over stuff when I was younger uh, put me in a situation where uh, they're not quite sure what caused what to happen, but I went into congestive heart failure, uh, spent a lot of days in the hospital. Well, heart, a heart disease is usually, it ran in his family because I think his mom died of it and his dad died of it in his sleep. And his, I know, I know at least his brother died of it, but uh, I can't remember what it's called, but he has to have a pacemaker and a defibrillator in him in case that happens. And the defibrillator saved me twice because I've gotten cardiac arrest twice, and it shot me back. So it's a neat little tool to have. You know, those deals where they go clear, poof, like that. I got them built in, so it's like getting kicked by a mule. I remember one morning, uh, I think I was in third grade, and I was just there watching cartoons, and then I hear, "Ah!" Uh, and my dad was laying in the bathroom floor, and. Ambulance was coming right away, just pulling them out, and it was scary. I was just, I was just there crying. When he, when he was probably four or five, he was asking where his grandparents were on my side of the family. And uh, I said, my dad passed away when I was 19. He goes, what happened there? I said, oh, he had a heart attack. It was like losing a friend also, not only my dad, but a friend. And I don't think a lot of people has that same, have that same relationship with their parents that, that I did. Uh, and I hope that he and I have that relationship if it's, you know, it's both. It's your mom, bud, and, and, and your dad. Whenever I think about his heart disease, I'm like, I just get rid of it immediately. I'm like, nope, not thinking about it. Because whenever I do think about it, I start to water up. I'm like, I just get rid of it. That's a lot to, to carry around with you too, right? Right, knowing that any moment that he could possibly die. I guess the first time that I had the real issue would have been Christmas when he was seven. Yeah, yeah. Christmas. Yeah, yeah. Well, uh, uh, his grandparents had to come over here and set the Christmas for him. 
if Santa Claus doesn't come to the hospital. And uh, that was a that was a tough deal. Hardest thing was having a conversation with my seven-year-old son about me not being here. That was a tough thing. Tell him, hey, daddy's sick. He's got some problems. He may not be here very long. And uh, he kind of looked at me like, mm, I understand. So you got to take care of mom. And I was okay. I mean, my mom and him are the most important things in the world to me. Jen, Jen's strong. She'd be okay if I went away. Uh, I have a responsibility to JD to turn him into a man before that happens. And all I can hope is that he can take some things that I gave him growing up and carry him on and carry him proud and, and be happy that I was his dad. Cowgirls on through and let them hear them call it cowgirls. One, two, three. Cowgirls! This is the toughest team y'all have faced all year long. It's time to go to work. This is, this is the team we've been waiting for. This is the team I want to be because all they coach do is talk. If y'all let it be a close game, he think he beat us. He think he beats us if it's a close game. He lost, he lost to North Crowley yesterday, 14-6. And he said, we shocked the world. He said, we shocked the world. You didn't shock the world. You shocked the world if you had to came in and beat North Crowley. You didn't shock the world by losing by a touchdown. And we're not going to let him shock the world like that. to get us, okay, a trick play. If they can beat us, if they can only beat us on trick plays, we're the winners. Go right, go right! Go ahead and get even with that post and bear crawl all the way to me. Discipline, getting in trouble. Michael Bell wearing his game pants to practice. And uh, Jamil being tardy at school. Too much talking. No knees. Come on, Jamil, what are you waiting on? Get off your knees, Jamil. Maybe you won't talk so much and you can get to class on time. Turn around and go. Come on, come on, Jamil, don't stop. Hurry up, Jamil. I ain't got all night. 
By the time I count to 50, Jamil, if you ain't here, we gotta start, we gotta do something different. One, two, three, that's it, baby. That's four, it. That's it. Five. That's it. Six. Slow down, coach. Seventeen. Get up. Eighteen. Get up. Nineteen. Twenty-two. That's it. That's it. Twenty-three. Come on. Twenty-four. Twenty-nine. Thirty. Thirty-one. Thirty-two. Thirty-three. Thirty-four. Come here. Stand up. Listen to me. Next time you embarrass the family like that, when the people gotta call me and your mama about you can't make it to class, this ain't nothing. You understand me? Go get your stuff and let's get in the truck. Don't be pushing them numbers. Okay, Mama, Yeah. I'm getting tired of seeing blowouts. I'm ready to see a game. I like to see some competition. Darius, he has a natural talent. You know, some kids is blessed with natural talent. Some kids have to, you know, keep practice, keep practice. Practice pays off, you know what I'm saying? But for him, football is natural. I mean, his size is all right. He, he could be a little bigger, but I guess his size, it works for him. I don't project him to get that tall because his daddy wasn't really tall. His daddy was five, eight, five, nine, so. But if they just watch him play, you know, he'd make up for his size, just like his daddy did, so. He played at ODY, then he made it to the NFL, played for Denver Broncos. <laughs> yeah, I ran track. That's about it. When I got into high school, I was just the manager for the volleyball team. And that was it. Then I had got pregnant with Dears. How old And that was it, 16. And ever since, I've been working, taking care of my kids. And I'm very happy that I had my son. It changed my life, but it was for the best. Suspected gang member Willie Clark was found guilty of murder today in the drive-by shooting death of Denver Broncos cornerback Darren Williams after a New Year's Eve outing three years ago. Prosecutors said Clark fired the fatal shots from an SUV that pulled up beside a rented limo. Looking live at the corner of 11th and Spear tonight, flowers, balloons, and signs Mark the scene where Broncos number 27 was shot and killed. 24-year-old Darren Williams was shot and killed early New Year's morning. Club, the stretch Hummer Williams was in, was fired upon. It was absolutely horrible. You know, uh, sports is sports. You know, it's our livelihood, so to speak, but it's not, it's not bigger than life. It really didn't sit in until I got to the hospital, and it's like, God, we all in here, my trainers here, my, one of my coaches is there. It was, you know, it was just an unbelievable moment. I woke up and it was on every single channel. It was just, it was heartbreaking, you know, it just, every time I think about it, it just makes my job. I just think that one minute you see somebody, the next minute you don't. Cornerback Darren Williams was dead, killed in a drive-by shooting in downtown Denver. He was 24 years old. Five days later, the Broncos flew with a team to Texas to remember him. I went to school with D. Will for L at OSU, whatever, and been knowing him for about six years now. Miss Rosalyn, you know, like the player said, you helped me up. You know what I'm saying? I'm just, I'm just, you know, glad D was in my life. You know, you know I'm going to be around and be yours, you know, little mama, little man.
You know, that's what give me, you know what I'm saying? Got two kids. Well, you can be for the dog. Okay, okay, okay. You need to go tell Jalen to to go run y'all some, go clean out the bathtub and run you some bath water so you can take a bath. Darrant D. Will Williams, number 27 for the Denver Broncos. So, do we know what really happened? No. You can come to a lot of conclusions, yeah. All I can really say is, his limo is the one that got shot up, and he's the one that's gone. Everybody else is here and doing just fine. But it's real hard. And I got to be strong for my kids. You know, like yesterday was their daddy's birthday. Sometimes I'm sad. It hurts. You know, I just know I have to do what I have to do to take care of my kids and I give them everything and I strive for the best for them. That's why I put them in the best schools. I want the best for them. I want them to have a, have a good education. I want them to have a good foundation, you know, structure. I want all of that. I want them to have more than what I had growing up. you did in the first half of the season or the regular season is done. Come on, Cowboy! Playoffs ain't no joke, man. I mean, are y'all are y'all content with just having an 8 no season and having nobody score? Is that just good for you? That's good for y'all? Because let me tell y'all something. Y'all ain't the first team. Y'all ain't the first team. Let's see if y'all can accomplish what a team two years ago couldn't. They almost did it. What? Yeah, I hear our lady doing right there. We're gonna shut all that up. Got a goal here, fellas. I'm not asking you to be that team. I'm saying be better than that team. Things. 
I seen some stuff going on out there today that embarrassed me. Everybody look at Chris. Is he in five? No, so stand on up. One, I'm watching you. Y'all better get it together. Cause if not, A's are gonna put you out. A second old Cowboys and North Crowd are gonna put you out. And I know y'all ain't trying to see Diamond Hill. I know y'all ain't trying to see Diamond Hill. I'm not getting out the gas for nothing. Y'all got that? Yes, sir. Check this out right here. We're gonna say hut. I want you to drop back and take a knee, all right? All right, drop back and take a knee, all right? Let's go. Just take a safety. I'm taking a safety. I'm taking a safety. We got to, Doug. Doug, we either do that or give him a touchdown. You gotta take the safety, man. What you rather give him two or you rather give him eight? <laughs> Good game, good game, good game. Good game, good game, good game. Good game, good game, good game. You think I was gonna take that safety, man? Come on now. Good game, man. Good game, good game, man. Good game. Hey, you know what? We gave up two points all year long. That's how we had to give up. Let me tell y'all something. Y'all, you boys ready to see Diamond Hill again? It's time to see him again, fellas. Yeah, all about B though, man. If this they can't get a yard, they're gonna go to him, you know what I'm saying? Right Catch it back against the great once again. Two of his tackles. Now, Mike Mike Jobs go here, BB Drew. Listen, Drew, this is what he'll do. I promise you. I'm gonna fake you inside and go hard outside. They gonna have to beat us with somebody else outside of number 20. Don't watch his head, don't watch his feet, watch his waist. And if you ain't coming up field right here, Lynn, and you decide to go outside, he'll go right like this and go right back up the field. Hey, I'ma tell you, he the best I seen at it. He the best I done seen at it. And coaches tell everybody, they be like, everybody do what BB do, be like him. Do everything he does. Darius, Darius, I know you and BB got our own thing going, but if you let him get in your head, you're gonna cost us the game. I know you got that north side in you. I know you see him over there when you're at your grandpa's house or everybody's house over there on the north, cousin's house, 
and y'all have some words with each other. Don't draw, don't let them draw you into that. That's what they do. When he start running the ball, I can watch it on the film, and everybody just kind of sit back and watch him go to work. Ain't nobody coming to his aid to block for him or none of that stuff. Everybody's just like, man, we're going to watch the BB show. We're not going to allow them. They can sit back and watch the BB show, but we're going to keep on playing. And they're going to watch the Roughneck show. Fit for life. A city view where I work. I think I was a D1 athlete. I know I was a D1 athlete. I just didn't do what I was supposed to do in order to make that happen. I can't say I was grounded, you know what I'm saying? I always knew that I had that edge. You know, I had that, you know, everybody knew I could play football, so they really won't give me too hard of time, but I was a mischievous kid. My pops was around, he was, he spent a little time in jail, you know, and stuff like that. But even if, if he was gone, he was still, he one of them dudes that's like, how oh, your dad was gone for seven years, you never heard of him. A lot of things he did made me understand that I didn't have to be like that, you know what I'm saying? I ain't saying I'm a saint, of course I ain't a saint. I mean, if you dab into my life, you know, you'll be like, Shh, really? You know, so down there, so. Thank you for calling Fit for Life City View. This is Malin speaking to my help. Welcome. Football saved me in school, man, because if it wasn't for football, I would have been a high school dropout, man. I had my first kid when I was 17 years old, you know. Then after that, I had more kids, you know. So I have three girls and a boy. Daddy, What's up? you want to know something exciting? What's that? I got a 102 on my spelling test. What? 102? Because we had bonus things. Yeah, you know what? Back in the days, if I had got a couple extra points, it would have helped me out too. I want a Sonic Blast with Oreos. I want Reese's. Snickers, Oreos, and M&M's. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> All right, I love y'all. See you later. I wasn't even going to going to go to school. I was just gonna work. I ended up going to a, a junior college, man, and just, you know, so on, so on, and then I got in school, and I decided I wanted to become a knockout artist then, and that's to try to knock people, you know, beat people up. You know, I got with a couple of cats, man, and we always got in the fights and stuff like that, so mm -hmm. I was kind of hung up on that whole D1 thing, D1, D1, D1. I was, I'm telling you, man, for all my life, man, I've prepped my son to play defense and how to catch a ball. That's it. I don't care where it is. I need you to go to school Somewhere. and yeah. have it paid for. That's it. Good game, baby.
After this year, I'm just going to become an assistant. Yeah. I don't want to miss a pregame next year. I don't want to miss a practice. If I see, I could sit and watch Xavier practice if I didn't have to come to practice. See, next year when I'm assistant, I can show up at 6.30, you know, because I'm not the head coach and I don't have to be there. Why do you still do that? But, you know, because I, love, I mean, I love it, man. I, I love it being around, being out there and being around the kids, and you know, being able to teach them something, give them something to go on, you know, to go pack, go forth with. And, you know, I had a coach. I mean, an older coach told me he's like, "Hey, coach, don't quit when your son leave." He said, "Because it ain't nothing out there for you that you'll find yourself sitting around on Saturdays with nothing to do." And college football ain't gonna fill that, ain't gonna fill that void for you, man. The reason why I have the teams I have, man, is because I'm blessed to have these teams, man. <laughs> was that sign sitting in the middle of field when you got here? I come up, it was already after 6 o'clock when I got here. That sign over there. Everybody know where we practice at. Was a sign out there or did somebody come put it where you was here? In the middle of the field. Don't believe the hype. Y'all understand what game y'all getting ready to play. I, I really don't think y'all grasping what it is. I don't think y'all grasping this is a Super Bowl. This is it, fellas. This is the last time this team right here, as a whole, will step out here on, at practice again and be out here with each other. If you're a part of this true blue, and they can't never take it away from you. It's like a fraternity, fellas. That's crazy. I said, Roger. This is going to be one of our luxury suites that we have here in the stadium. We are inside three million square feet of space. There's a lot of space in that stadium. Jamil, man, number four. I just want to. My friends, what will you? I'm standing right in front of the swear Oh yeah, heck yeah. <laughs>
Valley. Hit! We playing in the Super Bowl today. Hit! Down! Say it! Hit! If you can't do this, you can't do it, okay? I don't know how bad you want to, but if you can't, you can't. Now it hurts. Huh? Now it hurts. Oh, okay. It's just your blood's flowing real fast through your body. Just another game. Okay? You've worked all these years, man. How long has it been? Seven years, eight years? Six years, man. This is it. This is your last game, man. It's just a game. Just, just give him some Tylenol. Good. Calm down a bit. I think he's now. He's stressed now. I don't know, man. Step off five in the opposite direction. Repeat third down once again. This is the big game for Coach Mayland. This is a real big game for Mayland. You just play it half How about these hard-working right? Bob Hill cheerleaders? Hey. Alright, if, if he sends you a little weak or something, he's not going to play you, I'm telling you. Right? Do what you got to do, okay? I know you can do it, okay? The bend the time, this is the time, alright? I don't want you to see on the bench. And then by second, third quarter, oh, I'm ready to get in. The game's pretty much over. Alright? Come on, you can do it. Hey. So Chad, you want to get out of your way? Gary Castro, Angelica Calvillo, Priscilla Calvillo. Give me the blue offense on the ball. You ready? Yes, sir! All right. They, they think we just a defensive team. They think we have no offense. We can play defense, no doubt, but we're going to show them something else, too. But y'all got to come out from the jump on these boys. If you scared, go sit in the stand with your mama. Uh, go, go sit in the stands with your mama today. Hey, fellas, check this out right here. Somebody old got to go today, and it ain't going to be ours. It ain't going to be ours. We are true blue. We are the Ridgely Roughnecks. They don't know. They ain't seen us yet. All they seen us play was the worst three quarters ever that we ever played. They think that's the team that we are. They don't know. We're a lot better than that. Hit these boys in their mouth. Do you hear me? Yes, sir. Don't stop. Do not stop hitting these boys in their mouth. All right? Everybody down. Yep. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for blessing us, keeping us safe, out of harm's way. Bless all my teammates, all my family, all my friends, and all my coaches. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Circle it up. Circle it up. Let's go. Can't hear you. Can't hear you. Can't hear you. Number three, Jose Delgado. 89, Palmer Monahan. 11, Nathan Calvillo. 99, Hugo Castro. 51, Z. 
55 handed height. If he crashed, take him down this side. Darius, count Four double E. You kicked the end. Let's go. Let's stay on. Let's stay on. Do not quit. Play your game. 
Hey, do your job, do your assignment. I promise you, we're going to this half up right now. Looking like y'all happy with 14 points. Y'all looking like y'all happy with 14 points. Right now, get focused, play your best football. And that's all we gotta do. They think it's over. It ain't over. We the Bucks, man. Don't y'all get this up? Do you hear me? Yes, sir. Hey, I'm telling you, don't be content with what we done done. It's not over. It is not over. It is not over. It is not over. Do not let up. We are on the third and fourth quarter. We own this. Don't give them nothing. Oh, 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 Mike, Mike. Why would you do that? Hey, you got to be kidding me. Yeah. 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 So are you. Take the safety, man. No, no. Right here? Right here? We can get out of here. No, we can't, man. I told y'all. Let's go, Blue. Let's go, Blue. For the Buccaneers, great field position as the ball rests on the 16-yard line at the record. <laughs> But I tell y'all, man, Ever King, Ever King, Ever King, Ever King. Welcome to Sport 2, Buccaneers 12, and all of Sport 2 players, amazing players coming up. I told y'all. We should've took the safety. We should've took the safety, man. Y'all gotta buck up. If y'all want this, y'all better take it or y'all gonna give it back to me. That was sorry playing right there. Let's go. Gonna stop this and go overtime, man. Oh, listen to what I'm trying to tell you. Stop them on defense and go to overtime. Either they score, or we stop them. One or two. Let's go defense, hey! They go up. What? Ready. <laughs> hey, let me get a measurement. Let me get a measurement. <laughs> Time to have a very simple one. Get it! 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 Get I want you to call it back. Look at the way they shape. Then go. I just want you to go as hard as you can. All right. All right. 20. All right. Call it back. Sneak. That's number seven. Xavier Scott.
good, everybody. One, two, three. Let's go, blue. Let's go, blue. Let's go, blue. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, we came a long way, man. We came a long way. I think we started about 14, 15 weeks ago with this. Hey, and it paid off. I told y'all, hard work pay off all the time, fellas. Let me head up for Coach Mitchell. Nobody quit. Nobody quit. Got touchdown, scored on them. It didn't matter. They still played to the end, so. It's for the kids. That's what it's for. This is for the kids right here. We just call the plays. They do the work. You know what I'm saying? That's what it's about. What compound word is the name for this apparatus into which a musician blows to create a sound? One. Mouthpiece. That is correct. Number 11 is worth 15 points. How many judges can serve on the United States Supreme? Green one? Nine. That is correct. Number 23. Red two? Lurch. That is incorrect. The answer is spit. <laughs> <laughs> Letter word is the name given to a cow's mammary gland. Red two. Utter. That is correct. Number twenty-one is a mouth question. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
okay? Uh-huh. And let's... Yeah! You did it, Derek! I'm their mother, I'm their friend, I'm their father. He gone, so I, I talk to him, you know, just to see how he doing or what he thinking or, you know, anything. He's with them every, every day. And, I mean, even when he not on the field, just he's with them. He's with all of us. He gonna be better than his daddy, though. Because he is. He just is. He gonna be better than the statue. You can't do no more than what you did today, man. Every time you call upon, you did what you were supposed to do. So don't you worry about that. You still got another year to come up here and do your thing, man. I know it hurt, but you remember this feeling, man. You tell your teammates, remember this feeling. How'd it go? How'd the season go? Good. Perfect. Good. 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 Teared up. Life's gonna have some good moments and bad moments, and this is one of the best moments here. You know, I kind of wish I could stay, stay with Ridgely, but I mean, you know, everything's gonna pass on sometimes. But this will, <laughs> I'll keep on to this. So um, enjoy the good times. <laughs> Let the good times roll. My girl said not to let y'all in the house. It's not okay. clean. <laughs> she, she's like, ass not clean. You bet not let them in the house. I was like, all right, all right, all right. One second, you need two minutes. God. This one always gets stuck. God. Don't lie. Hey, you try to get your own try this. Let me try this. I'm sorry. Damn, <laughs> <laughs> or something. <laughs> they think they can, but they can't. Turn away. Really? Do they I mean, try I to? Really? I mean, this is, but this is their version of Dougie. <laughs> I know those girls doing the trying to. Whoa, look at this ketchup bottle. I would do that too. Do we get extra? I had five hot dogs. I'm on my bag of chips. Yeah, yeah, my stomach hurts pretty bad. Toby. Yeah, you sit. You gotta turn around. Can you turn around? Can you turn around? Give me a paw. Okay, okay, all right, all right. Calm down. We're on, we're on TV. We're on TV, behave. This is what we do. So, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, shake it, shake it. What? what? So shake it, 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 shake it,